Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply a drop shadow to a character, but not just any kind of drop shadow. This one, I want to, um, I want to create a shadow that has uh, more perspective to it and one that's uh, a little bit, a little bit more accurate to um, the the character itself in terms of its shape and form, and um, and in this case, the animation. So, I have on the stage here this movie clip. And if I double click it, you'll see that inside the movie clip, there's an, an entire animation here involving several layers and quite a few keyframes. And if I were to just scrub through it, you'll see the animation play and the hula girl dances. Now, if I want to add um, a, a realistic drop shadow to this character, uh, it's quite easy using some filters. Um, one in particular, which is the drop shadow filter, but there's a trick to it. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, it's critical that you have the character animation within um, a movie clip symbol already. So what we want to do is copy it. So I'm going to right click over the instance of this movie clip here on the on the main timeline. And I'm going to select, select copy from the pop-up window. Now I want to create a new layer. And I want to then move this layer below the original layer that has the hula girl on it. And I'm going to lock the hula girl layer just so I don't mess it up. So now what I want to do is uh, right click anywhere over the stage in the new layer we just created and select paste in place. So now I'm going to just so we can see this better, I'm going to convert the original layer to outlines. Okay, so we can see uh, we still have a reference point as to where it is. But now we also see the um, duplicated the, the copy of the movie clip underneath in the layer below. So using the free transform tool, I'm going to select this um, movie clip that we just pasted. This is going to turn into our shadow. Uh, the first thing I want to do is edit the center point. So I'm going to move the center point down here to uh, somewhere around her feet. And then I'm going to click and drag and kind of squash this shadow about like that. Let's. I'm going to have it so that the shadow is, uh, is cast behind her as if she's lit from the front. Um, so we're almost actually done. So now just go into the properties panel. And you'll see down here at the very bottom in the filters category, you'll see the ability to add um, by clicking in, in the button here in the lower left hand corner, the ability to add a drop shadow. So what we're doing now is adding literally a drop shadow to the pasted symbol that we just created. So now we want to make sure the distance is at about zero directly on uh, as close as we can get to the original symbol here. The the secret, the trick to this whole effect is to click um, in this box here next to hide object. This will hide the source object. So you can't see the contents of the movie clip, but all you are left with is the actual drop shadow effect. Okay. So now we can play around with the, the strength, which works just like alpha. So if we drop the shadow down or the strength of the uh, the amount of alpha that this shadow has, this is really good for if you wanted to add any kind of background that involves several different colors, the, the shadow will literally be cast upon it with, with a sort of transparency to it, and you can control how much that is. Um, and you can also control the amount of blur as well. You can have a very sharp shadow, sharp edged shadow, or you can adjust the amount of blur to give it a little bit of a softer effect. So I think something like that will work. And now we're pretty much done. I'm going to convert this back to... Um, from outlines to just a regular layer so we can see uh, the product here and let's just test the movie and we can see the shadow uh, at work because it's animated as well it's just merely um, a copied duplicate of the original symbol so the shadow symbol containing this um, filter effect uh, is contains the actual in, in entire animation so if we double click the symbol here that is our shadow you can see the shadow taking place but since we've uh, just to recap here, since we would go back into properties, you can see with this selected, you can see how we, we hid the object. If we deselect that, you'll be able to see the object. Um, let's test it so you can see what I'm doing. And we don't want that. So let's make sure that we hide the object. And there you are. There you have it. There's a uh, a really cool, clever way to create a realistic drop shadow. If you wanted to, you could play around with it by um, selecting the free transform tool and the, I'll call it the shadow symbol, and you can skew it to change the, the direction. Uh, you'll see that since we edited the center point of this symbol, it's going to transform based on that center point. So it's always going to remain relatively fixed to where her feet are planted, which is where it should. Uh, you can use the arrow keys to 
move that around if you need to tweak it a little bit in terms of position. So if we test it again, you can see the shadows now uh, cast in a, at a different angle. So have fun with this. It's a really cool, easy effect um, to create in Flash using filters.